Here's a punter, Thomas Morstead, to get this one started. And we are underway from MetLife Stadium. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. Here's Gibson to start the drive. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Brandon, that's what you call being manhandled at the point of attack. And I know the offensive line gets a lot of blame for that one. But occasionally, the defense just knows what you're going to do. Maybe they scouted it perfectly. Maybe someone tipped it off. But on that play, it had no chance. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. On third down, here's Gibson. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. As much as I praise teams for being true to who they are, in this situation, I wonder if maybe they outguessed themselves a little bit. Third down seemed like an obvious passing situation. They chose to run it and then get anywhere close to a first down. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. Rodgers now on first down. He finds Wilson. Touchdown, Jets! Garrett Wilson, 26 yards. And the Jets are on the board first here this afternoon. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Zerline connects on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. And the Jets pressure two notches. Down he goes. decision to go for it pays off with six points. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and there's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. 
Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't no matter what the defense throws at them, they feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Second and ten. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. Down the left sideline. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Dalvin Cook, 55 yards. And the Jets have taken the lead. Zerline good with a PAT. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. They're set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Hey. Go. They'll start on the ground with Gibson. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Here's Brissett. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. This second and four. To throw is Brissett. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And McLaurin going to pick up a commander's first down as he'll take this down inside the 45. First down, Brissett. This pass hauled in by Dodson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Back to the ground with Gibson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Through one quarter, 14 7, our score. Chain, second and 13. Brissett. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37 yard line. Brissett going to move him around here. It's third and long for Brissett. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown, Washington. Curtis Samuel, 37 yards. And the Commanders are an extra point away from evening this one up. The extra point by Sly is up and good. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. 
And he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. The Jets take over first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the ends. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Rodgers now to throw. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways call this penalties. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. 65 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And now an audible here into something else. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. Now a second and ten. Rodgers going to throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 27. They'll try the wide side with Cook. Inside the 10 to the 7. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. On play action. Rodgers. Got a man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Aaron Rodgers hitting Alan Lazard. And the Jets have taken the lead. Zerline now for the PAT. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all. But right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throwing, Brissett. Back to Gibson and another catch for him. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. To throw, Brissett. Taking a shot for Samuel. And he's got it inside the 10. And he's going to be pushed out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. A huge play there for Washington. 48 yards. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Brissett. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. Touchdown, Washington. Antonio Gibson from eight yards out. And the Commanders are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. 
A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here, maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before an omission. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. Now he's free at the 35. He may go. Delvin Cook. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Aaron Rodgers, three first half touchdown passes. And the Jets will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today, it's track shoes, because that's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far, and fun to watch. Zerline connects on the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Out there, set ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. A slim deficit here in a one-possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. As the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. On first and ten, Brissett. He's got Thomas yet again, complete. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Now Brissett. This is intercepted. Picked up by D.J. Reed. And the Jets are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. The defense looked geared up to stop the run, but obviously, Charles, they were ready for the pass, too. Yeah, they were hoping they could catch everyone crashing and playing the run, but that was a very ill-advised throw right there. The opportunity lost. And he's only able to get it to right around the three. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. We welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead now, a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first one second. So for me, 
It's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game is a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with... This is caught inside the 15. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. Big yardage that time for the Jets. 48 yards. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. In motion left goes a tight end. They'll run with Cook. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Throwing is Rodgers. He's getting Wilson, and that's a Jets touchdown. Four touchdown passes now for Aaron Rodgers. And the Jets take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead now up to 14. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. Kill, 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 kill. sets to throw it. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. And those two just have been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Brissett. Incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. Some boos coming down right now from this home crowd after that call. Yeah, and that was because of the pass interference call, but for a second there, I thought maybe they'd gotten a look at my uh, appearance as Othello in the high school play. <laughs> you, you were Othello? He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. John Franklin Myers. Able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Throwing on second and long. Brissett. And he'll complete this to Gibson. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Play action now. Brissett. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Brissett going to move him around here. They go play action here on first down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. So it looks like they stopped some fighting them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. On play action, Brissett. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Touchdown, Washington. A great play there. 27 yards. And the Commanders are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. The extra point by Sly is up and good. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. 
And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and ten. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. First down, here's the run with Cook. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. They'll roll him out right. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And they will finally stop him as he's down to the 40-yard line. Well, we've seen quarterbacks get away with throwing the ball on the run, no doubt. But this, Charles, I think you'd agree, not the best of throws. And listen, you're not always going to have a clean pocket to step up with the proper mechanics and deliver the football. I mean, that's a given. But you also have to understand your limits and know what you can get away with and what you can't when you're trying to make a throw like that. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. We're set now. And he can't hang on to it, and the screen never got started. As soon as he leaked out, began his round. Someone on the defensive side caught the win, and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. On third down, Brissett. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Whitehead. And the Jets are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping them down the numbers. There he goes. Still going inside the 20. Touchdown. Aaron Rodgers on fire. His fifth touchdown pass of the ball game. And the Jets use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. And now they'll shift things around. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. On second down, Brissett again. And he will find his man, Samuel. Still going inside the 20. Touchdown, Washington. Curtis Samuel with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Commanders have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. The extra point by Sly is up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. He's got room past the 30 and all the way up to the 35-yard line. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. To throw is Rodgers. Open man here is Conklin. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 
the two big plays right in succession as this one goes for 27. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38 to throw. It's Rodgers. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And the Commanders are right back in this football game. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. The interception sets them up with an opportunity to erase this fourth quarter deficit. Now this series could very well determine our outcome. And this is going to be a commander's first down as he'll take this up to about the 33-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Brissett going to move him around here. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Slings this deep from McLaurin. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown. Terry McLaurin, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Commanders are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. Here's first down. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45 yard line. 131 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They've got it first and 10 as they search for a go ahead score. Rodgers now on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Here now, third down. To throw is Rodgers. And he's caught. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Oh, what a time for a lapse defensively. That turns this game right on its ear. And now, forget about going fast. They might want to take the air out a little bit and force the defense to use some timeouts. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football over, game. Over, 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 over. Now Rodgers. And a quick throw here. That's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. They'll try the middle with Cook. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. The commander's going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Rodgers. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Rodgers going to go on fourth down. And the Jets are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Cook. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. And with that, they're down to one remaining here in the second half. Back to throw, Rodgers. 
Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw is made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. Cook. Diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. And this is the type of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortune. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with a touchdown run to take the lead. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Nine seconds, no timeouts left. Here's Brissett. He's going to let it fly. This ball intercepted. And the Jets have just about sewn up this football game. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one. 